Hey, what's going on guys, it's Sam. And in this video today, I have been to the local fish store and picked up some nice bits of coral. I'll show you this one. It's a uh, double-headed hammer coral and it looks like it's about to split. So it could be a three-headed hammer coral next three, four months maybe, hopefully. So yeah, got, got that a nice deal to be fair. I think that's 65 pound. And yeah, with three heads soon coming on it, it's not too bad. And then I've got this as well. Uh, I can't really see it in the bag. I have to take them out. That's a um, two Montiporas, uh, two Montipora frags. Uh, I've got one of them for free actually from him. So that's quite nice for him. And yeah, I think that'll look quite nice actually. going to attach it to a rock, maybe a bit of like an overhang sort of area. Needed to think of where though. But yeah, uh, going to get these acclimated and I'll show you them when they're in the tank. So uh, these are the two Montiporas I got. Uh, one of them is a lot more colourful. I think it might be that one. And this one here is I think one I think I got for free. It's like a little bit green on it. And uh, just trying to figure out where to put these. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a look. But there's there's a few places I can put them. It just depends if I don't want to keep cool. Obviously, I don't want to keep calls underneath them because it'll block the light. So I just need to do it in a place which will suit that. I'll do a little update on the calls as well, actually. So, uh, Blasto here looking good. Well, not looking good at the minute, it's sort of closed up, but yeah, one of my favourite corals, really colourful. Uh, torch coral, uh, really good as well. Last night I had a, well, it was actually pooing, and I didn't know torches actually poo, so that's something, I, something new I learned. But yeah, I was panicking, I thought something bad was going to happen, I was going to die, ruin my tank, ruin everything else, but no, nah, <laughs> it was just pooing. Uh, toastal. Still sulking a little bit, but I like, see like these little arms. Like, yeah, it's still coming out. So I need to, hopefully that comes out soon because it was actually nice when I bought it. Uh, Foxborn, mm, I don't know. The color, it's not really colorful. I like, kind of lost its color. I think that's something to do with my phosphates. So yeah, I'm gonna have to maybe dose. I think, I can't remember what the guy said I need to dose it with maybe but yeah I'm gonna look into that and the Zoa starting to grow some more like heads on it on the little rock so that's uh, quite cool so hopefully I'll get a few I'm gonna get a few more Zoa rags uh, not sorry sorry Zoa frags and have a little Zoa garden in that corner um, but yeah that's it for the calls right everyone so the uh, hammer call and the Montipora are in had a bit of a nightmare though. I tried taking off the plug on the Montipore, which I paid for, and yeah, snapped a bit off. And that's all that's left of it. So, <laughs> so I've attached it to that rock. And then the one that I got for free, actually looks kind of nice to be fair. So yeah, that's like that. Uh, I'll get a, like, a side view. So I'll like, panel off there. And the one at the back will panel off over there. And then I've got, I've moved the hammer call up there. And then the frog spawn, I'm putting that there for now. That is literally, yeah. I have no idea where to, where to put that or where I think it's best to put it. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that. Yeah, the uh, quite a lot of them to, to be fair. I'm more of a fan of the calls that, you know, sway about, but yeah, when this branches off, off the rocks, it's gonna be nice for the fish, like the fish to swim under. So yeah, that's cool. And the uh, hammer call is amazing, really nice uh, green color. Hopefully that frags off soon. Well, we'll get to another third head, I mean. But yeah, all good. Tank's starting to come along nicely, to be fair. Happy with it. So yeah, these I'm just gonna throw away. I didn't know whether I can just attach them onto a rock again, but I'm just gonna, yeah, just leave them off. That was a bit annoying. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the update. Any uh, sort of places where you recommend putting this frog spawn, let me know. Because, um, yeah, I don't really want to stick any coals to rocks. I like to pick them out of the water. For when I frag them, it would be a lot easier. So, yeah, apart from that, that's not, even, that's not obviously glued. That's not glued to torch. That's not glued. Only ones that are glued are the Montiporas. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and see you next video.